The Ekaterinburg Arena hosted four matches during the World Cup group stages. A protected landmark, the stadium normally holds 23,000 spectators. So FIFA's 35,000 minimum seating requirement posed a problem. The cost-effective solution? Removable stands. The decision was made to build the stadium in this design according to FIFA requirements, to place 12,000 spectators on temporary stands and after the World Cup to dismantle these stands. The renovation costs just over $200 million. But removing the stands will cost another $16 million. And local officials say they don't yet have a plan. On top of those costs, the stadium requires another $6 million each year for maintenance. The city hopes they can make that money back by hosting a mix of football and cultural events. The local football club in Ekaterinburg, Ural, is hoping the new stadium will entice more people to pay for their games. Currently, the stadium they play in is on the outskirts of town and has limited seating, with 6,000 spectators on average for each game. The average attendance for World Cup test matches was more than 20,000 spectators. We hope that the attendance will stay around 15,000, 20,000 spectators next season because the central stadium is much more convenient in terms of location. The World Cup organizing committee predicts the economic impact of the tournament could exceed $30 billion, with Russia having spent at least $10.9 billion.